the, the, the we got the the the, 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 the list starting better printed really? yeah okay so Emily now got the vote and we are already on the basket of the Czech team oh sorry and um, we see the Finnish team normally are also quite strong the last year Riksu was here and uh, now we have Emelina has been in the past, but I it haven't been coming to the championships in a few years now. We they are underneath the basket of the Czech team. Now then the surfix and uh, Finnish team still in possession of the ball. Now it's an attack, and the defender is not there. But didn't there and it is. The first goal they are for the Finnish team. This is almost within the first minute of the uh, beginning of the game. One zero. But does it mean anything? I mean, sometimes these first goals that happen, they just surprise um, the teams. Uh, I'm going to, um, we're, as you wish, uh, <laughs> we are, we are uh, looking, we're changing and coming and, and going in. Uh, and sh uh, sh uh, shifts so we can keep awake while talking and also to um, refresh and keep the boys also healthy so this is Lisa I'm back uh, with Lorena I'm just checking because they gave me the list of the teams uh, but I need to uh, the, I think they're all of them anyway so we have the Finnish team back again on the Czech goal and it's really really massive attack uh, from the blue side and the Czechs are defending well but really um, I'm surprised uh, how how consistent and how how strong the attack of the finishing has been in the last few minutes in the start so now let's see the something happened the Czechs, uh, they got the ball again on their baskets when they're in a free throw against the Czechs uh, for they got out of the field. So Finns are leading free throw. Thank you for the feedback. Now I was reading the Czech names and the people can tell me that the pronunciation was fine. No, okay, I'm apologizing. You, you can speak a little bit of the pronunciation of the Czech now. Yeah. Lisa is from Greece. So. <laughs> Okay, so the Finns are attacking again from the close side. Uh, Czechs started the ball away, but they got them again. So now it uh, looks like the Czech team is a little bit more consequent on four ticking. They realize if they let the Finnish team too close, then the risk of scoring them getting a goal is uh, too high. So. They're, they're a bit more away, they're trying to be more active so that the goalies and the defenders are not so much on their attack like we saw in the first minutes. And right now it's working, let's see for how long they can keep it up. Because it's difficult for the forechecking for the attackers to keep the and that's another goal. I mean, the Finnish are super effective. The moment they have contact with the goalie is a goal. Actually, we have seen that this is the third, the third goal already. I don't know what they haven't changed, but it's 3-0 uh, for the Finnish. I thought it was three. Put, I need my the audience uh, feedback. If you were watching from the beginning, it's the third goal, right? Already. Let's see. Now we have the Czech team at least on the half of uh, the Finnish team, but uh, that didn't take long. Finnish got the ball again, counter attacking. Player, two players stole the basket, and that's another goal. That was quick. So the goalie didn't manage to make it completely onto the basket, and the Finnish player grabbed him under the shoulders, pushed him away. We have about 150 people watching. Do we have Czech fans? Do we have Finnish um, fans? We don't have Hani, <laughs> Yanni, sorry, with us helping <laughs> with the Finnish. Uh, translation 
So let us know what your thoughts, uh, that you are there for your team, so they can, you know, when they watch the game later, they can see all the good things you wrote about them and you were cheering up for them. Okay, so the Finnish player, I don't know if you, if you saw that, he passed the ball, he threw the ball away. Okay, there was no other player, but the Czechs got it. We'll finish again and now we'll try to have a counter-attack by the Czechs. But the finish are like a wall, you know, every time the Czechs try to pass, they have, you have, oh, okay, this is the, the this looks like wrong direction. I it's think out. surely he's out, yeah. Completely out and it's a free throw uh, for the Finns. For Hamelinen. Hemel, I think it's Hemelinen. Something like that. We need uh, the Finnish feedback to see if we are... I, I, I said that since we did the challenge last year when you, and you put the video, I think we all speak better Finnish, at least. <laughs> we can we can at least say one word. Okay, so here we are. We have a timeout, so uh, Budva is to come. The timeout. But yes, we see that the, the, the fans are dominating the game. They're really most of the time in the in the half of Budweis and attacking the baskets. Mm. And it's difficult for I mean for the Czech team to keep the ball at all. I mean, they, they few times they defend, they get it, they pass a little bit over the half uh, of the field, and then they're back. I also think that that uh, Hemelinen has better physical condition overall. The players I think are a bit more fit than the Czechs. Do you know if men, some of them play in the Euroleague as well? From Hemelina, I know that some of the players are Rixu because the last couple of years we had Rixu. Uh, Hemelina haven't been playing the Champions Cup since a few years now, but um, I know that some of the players from Rixu play for Beta in the Euroleague. Uh, we have uh, Viktor Krylov to buy, uh, for instance, but uh, I don't, I don't really know the others. <laughs> so, some of them, I think, do. I think this is Jakub Finnstein on the goal. Atos, yeah, we, we named the teams of the Hemelin and before I, I named the one from um, uh, Budetrovice, that's that Beate read. Uh, we, she didn't mention the numbers, but she said we, we're going to try to, if there's enough time, then to always read the team list before the game starts. Right now we have everybody on top of the goalie fighting for the ball. We can't see where the ball is actually. Do you see which team is in possession? Ah, there, the, yeah, the, the finish. Have the team, have the ball on the close corner. And Again, there is a tackle, surface crumb in the close corner. I'm trying, sorry. It looks, it looks a bit <laughs> rough on the surface. Uh, the, ooh, the Finnish player is uh, scored. Apparently the streaming is off, both can to your check. Can you still hear us? Or is it completely gone? Uh, okay, there was a goal now. No, no, that is not. That is nicht. That's there was a goal now for uh, Hemelinen, who. Um, so there was just one goalie they were fighting on the surface for uh, some time. There was one goalie down, and uh, the Finnish player pushed him, like, lifted it from the shoulders and uh, from the top and scored. So now we have a counter attack from uh, the Czechs. Just one player. Um, the, um, apparently, they. I mean, they don't have the streaming anymore. I'm just. I just ask if they cannot hear us either, or it's just the the video that uh, is missing. Oh, here we have three, uh, two against one. We got second player, but there is no defender at the bottom. The Czechs have the ball again. Countered immediately by the by the fans. Okay, there is. Ah, okay. Then yet, uh, I think we are back. 
No. Yeah, there's quite, quite some, some play in the middle field, um, more than at the beginning of the halftime. I think the second halftime could be more interesting. Oh, we have Finnish player now, one against one, uh, Jakob Finnstein on the goal by himself at the beginning. Now he got good help, checks have the ball, there's 40 seconds left. They should have more players and the water now to finish the half time. Um, right. Yeah, we're still offline actually, apparently. The, it's completely off. It's the, no, no audio, no video. Okay. Nothing, but I think people here can hear us. Uh, so one against three is a check player against uh, three, four Hemelin and players. Uh, a try for a counter attack by the finish and it's half time. But what do you think of, of uh, this game, Lorena, the first half? Well, the Finnish team is stronger. They they have... Uh, mm, okay. I think that the tactic as a, as a team, the working as a team, it flows better. So they, they're, you know, everyone is there where they're supposed to be. So that's where they can recover the ball, they can attack. This, oh, you can see this, 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 this pattern of attack. And for me right now, the Czech team is more reactive. It's constantly reacting. So they're not in they're just trying to save moment by moment they go how it, with your team, but normally with us, with our team, most of the time our first game is the most disastrous one. Even and everyone knows what's supposed to do, where to be, where. still most of the time we get out of the water and we know each one of us have the feeling play uh, need 60% of what they normally can do. This is normally the feeling. If it's like this in the water, but that's normally the feeling, and I, I have no idea. We had a very, maybe five in our 20 years of history, five great first games. It's, you know, the rest were all, they suck. <laughs> they were not good. With, with, with our team, that our mixed team, we play in the Czech League, and we often uh, have the relegation game, so or ascension, and this game we have to win if we want to play in the first division, and it has to be our best game of the day. And... Uh, this, you have to be very awake and very concentrated. Yeah. It's always the first game of the whole day, and but always hard. But this forces us to to play very well our, our first game. But it's, it's true that it's not easy to be directly yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's yeah the way it works. And so it's how is it? Uh, so you play with with Graz in the in the Czech league. In the Czech league, Vienna and Graz do. And now we have also a team from Slovakia playing. The Czech and how many and Czech Hungary. teams are? I mean, with the Chovice, then I mean, Czech. Uh, there is Czesko Bojovice, there is Triton Berun, Triton Berun yeah. there is uh, Ustent Lave, there is Brno, and Prague. And then Bojovice also has a B team, which is mostly a, a youth team. Okay. We call them the kids, but now cool. they're 19 yeah. years old. <laughs> and they're strong. And then there is uh, Vienna. A team and B team. B, B team is mostly women. Uh, there is uh, Sitekrat, there is uh, Budapest and uh, Bratislava. Cool. I think I'm not forgetting anyone. That's nice. I mean, that, that's fantastic. You know that. The first, first division was uh, five teams and second division was also five. Mm. I'm forgetting so that. And who who are in the first uh, division? So it's Budjovice, Triton Berun, uh, Ustin and Lave. Vienna A and uh, now last time it was Graz at the fourth um, okay. fourth round and then second division was Prague, um, Geophysica Brno, uh, Vienna B, Budapest and uh, Bratislava. I don't know, Bratislava was not there. Ah, so the Hungarian time. also play with you? The Hungarian also Perfect, too, yeah. they also go to Czech Nice. Republic. 
I love this. I mean, like when we have the three nations league as well, with the Spanish, yes. the but Italian, this, then, the Swiss. It's a national league. Yeah, I know, but so so we are not we're out of competition. Okay, let's. Uh, we're still out of line, or we are back now? Let's see. No, we still. See the gaming. Okay, so finish our <laughs> basket of the of the checks that have been for some time, and that's goal. It was a long attack and a lot of effort. Okay, let me see. Mm. Can you see us now, Bob? Can you hear us? Are we back? Are we back online, Wolfie? We should be Ah, okay. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, so we are back online. Okay, so the Czechs now are attacking uh, the f on the closed corner of the Finnish side. Um, but they just have one player on the water and the Finnish are not like letting them distract them, swim around the basket. So the Czechs don't have this, uh, yep. the condition also to, to disturb them and to put them under a lot of stress. And now Hamelin has the ball again, the surface. Okay. So it is 5-0 for Hemelina and 7 minutes left from the second half. I mean, and White is Budecovice and uh, hopefully the technical problems come to an end and we can as I enjoy and concentrate on, on all of the games. We have an attack uh, on the white goal again and surface now fighting but the Finnish team has been consistently doing pretty much what we are seeing right now. This is something the picture we had few times few few times along the game so for those minutes where the game was gone this is pretty much most of the time we were at, they were attacking on the Czech side and um, they have scored five goals so far. But the, the Czechs are defending... You want me to pronounce of this family names? The Czech ones? Okay. <laughs> no, I? not the Czech ones, the, the, the Finnish. What does it mean? <laughs> you can also tell the, 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 the numbers. Do you have them there? Yes. Yeah. So we have... Uh, you want to do it? Or? No, no, yes, you wish. I mean, okay, so we have number four, uh, Jussi Martila. Number six, Jane Piccalisto. No, it's this. good. We're, we're learning Finnish. That's okay. important. Number seven, Riku Rikonen. Number eight, Marco Enberg. And nine, Jari Hovikorpi. Ten, Rami Rikonen, the captain of the team. Twelve, Jane Salonen. Thirteen, Antti Salonen. 14, Heiki Luko, number 23, Viktor Krylov, number 33, Alexei Priyaznikov, 60, Yuri Boyko, 66, Kai Björk, 79, Akuluko, and 95, Anti Vatera. It sounds perfect to me. Atos, what do you think? Lisa did a good job? I think it's fantastic since the last year we thought, you know, to... Maybe we can do a challenge about the Turkish name this we could year. Try that's oh, goal. that's another okay. goal. The, the, the Finnish. They managed to push away all the defenders. We had a lot of uh, three Finnish players in front of the goal. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just a goalie left and uh, lifted very easily the push-up goal motion. Yeah, Lisa was, I mean, while we were offline, suddenly we were t having a little bit of a chat about the league, of the Czech league, where also the Austrian and also people from Hungary play. And Slovakia. Yeah. And in Slovakia as well, thank you, and all the teams they have. And then, uh, then we have the Finnish uh, league as well. But we can see that the Finnish team is the stronger one, and you can see that they have more experience. And the question here is, well, there's a few of them that also play in the EuroLeague. Uh, and I don't know, I don't think, I mean, for your league guys, if anyone playing in the EuroLeague in one of the teams? Uh, the, the Czech guys? Yeah. No, there was a few years ago, oh, that's a counter-attack from the Finns, two against one, Oof, that was an easy goal, that was just uh, the goalie getting there last minute, and uh, then I didn't have time to position himself very well, because he was alone, and uh, that's that's the thing, they don't have that good physical condition, and the... the Finns are a bit more used to play yeah. longer games. You, you can tell for the, you know, for everything, the technique, the tactic, the way they swim, the way they get organized, the 
they have more experience and as I was saying before the Czech is pre the Czech team is reacting pretty much to the Finnish game you know the, the players play for a long time it's um, and I know the same but, kind of experience. but the, exactly the thing is if you as a team can uh, play your tactic or if the other team just destroy it and make it difficult for you so you are reacting and right now the Finnish team again we are three under the basket of the Czech before team it was an attack counter attack with four players and great job from the Czech that just recovered and again in the circle like three four meters away from the goalie and this is this is the way have been going on also for the minute that you couldn't see guys is pretty much uh, this is happening the Czechs have recovered the ball get a little bit farther away and then be back on their own goaling and uh, I have the feeling uh, the, fi the Finnish have a little bit more underwater time, right? Because they can recover faster, they can be down faster than the Czechs. It looks and like then there was a lot of last minute save. Was, was this a, no, there was no goal. So this was... <laughs> the Finnish player threw the ball, it almost got in and the, play the goalie just, just, got it just <laughs> scooped it out before it got in the goal. For a minute there I thought that the referees <laughs> had, had stopped the game. In. This was really last. I was saying there was a lot of last-minute saves, but usually went in a one against one um, setting, um, where the defender, the the Budjovic defender, would get down really last minute and grab the player and go away. And for a minute there, because of the Finnish team went up, I thought that the referees had played, uh, but we can't hear anything from the pool area, so that we are a bit blind. This is Finnish. So Hemelinen has uh, stolen the basket. Wait. So here I guess we have Kuba, Jakub finished then again on the goal. Oof. Intent of counterattack by the Czechs. And apparently holding or without ball. Uh, can you tell us now how the sound is? Still very metallic or it's better? And this I'm going to offline a little bit and I'm going to listen myself to talk and so I can okay, check the sound. So I'm kind of, so we have Free throw for uh, Budjovic from Czech Republic. He passed down and passed back up actually towards the surface. Um, this is interesting because there was a lot of players on the surface as well, a lot of Finnish players too. Now there's one player in the close corner. Now there's a few more players. Uh, but the Czechs, when they're attacking, they're, I don't know if it's also because they're trying to catch a breath from defending so long, but in their attack phases they don't have so active players. They have one, two players, the third one will come to save the ball and pass it directly, but they're not as active in their attack phases as, as the Finns. The Finns will just uh, go to the basket, three, four players, and with uh, all their power, and the Czechs are more staying in the corner and not attacking with that much intensity. Also, from defending a lot, it's, it's very exhausting, as uh, yes. a lot of people know. And back now, yes, it's difficult. It's really difficult and get very exhausting when you are all the time defending because you are following the pace of the other team. When you are uh, attacking, you can kind of decide the speed of the ball. Oh, oh look, he's, he's holding he's onto the basket <laughs> a little bit. I think now he's there. No, 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 goal. no goal. The was holding onto the basket. Yet. He was holding to me. Yeah, it, it <laughs> he was, also <laughs> tried a nice metal, but then. But you know, there's a lot of players don't realize. I mean, when you tell them, you don't. You hold the button. No, I did not. I'm like, yes. <laughs> you have to replay it, and it's, it's just it's like a reflex, I guess. You know, I mean, it, that it happens uh, a lot. So they say you grab the back, so like, hey, you grab onto the basket. Like, we did not. That really, did I? Okay, the game is out now, so it finished. Um, so Hemelin and uh from Finland in okay. blue, won again Czeski Budjovic from Czech Republic that is playing in white. Is it 5-0 or 6-0? 7-0. 7-0? I think so, yeah. Okay. So now it's a uh, women's game. We have uh, Uzi Langen from yeah. Germany against the Black Mermaids from uh, Sweden. Sweden, yep. Yeah. So it's the women's we can, team. Yeah, we can read the names. Uh, we have um, the um, 
I don't know if I explain it in English or German, but we, let's say it in English. Uh, n number two, we, this is Langen, is uh, Mara Weissmann. Number three, Simone Lepper. Number four, Anna Olt. Number six, Stefanie Nusser. Number seven, Kathi Franke. Number eight, Heike Reichhuber. Number nine, uh, Petra Koppen. Number eleven, Janine Oswald. Number twelve, uh, Rias Palek. Number fourteen, Julia Ettinger. Uh, number fifteen, Kathi Velo. Sixteen, Vania Old, 18, Antin o, um, uh, Rusha, um, 19, Marin Janko, 27, Maike Rosman. And, and for the Black Mermaids from Sweden, we have number two, Kai Salilia, three, Linda Carlson, four, Antonia Hjelm, six, Signe Davidson, 13, Saga Blomberg, 14, Ellen Strand, 15, Victoria Isaacson, 33, Eva Eriksson, 83, Erika Lindström, and 99, Mayrik Price. Okay, so this uh, was so a very interesting The Black Mermaids game. had 10 people, and the Germans are full. Uh, so this is the first game from for the group F, 15 people. This is exactly the women are ten teams all together and they have three groups and these two are in the group F. This is Uselangen, Black Mermaid and Barcelona. And so it's a total of twenty three um, teams. 13 males and ten females. Yeah. So the first two women's games that we had in the morning were all from group G. And uh, so those four teams, it's a group of four mm -hmm. teams with uh, Amager, Orcas, Mekas and Elvetia. So they all played, the, we had two against two as a four team group. And now we'll have uh, the first game for group F. And yeah. uh, the only thing is that I have to go double check when, when I when I finish the, the um, commentating, let's go and check because for the first time since I can have memory, they uh, they do penalties if the if the, the game finish in a tie. And in the past, we never did that in the group games. We did it after that. So I'm a little bit uh, yeah. Com I don't want to say confused, but I, it's it's just um, interesting that they changed the rule, and I I haven't been able to talk to Vina and why they take this uh, measure. Anyway, we have now uh, the game number six, uh, the German team in blue and the Swedish team in white. Um, let's see. This is a team from uh, Malmö, the, the Black Mermaids. Uh, it's the women's team of Malmö Triton, basically with some non Triton players but they play together in the in the Swedish league so they're they're a very strong team. They just won the Swedish championship for the Black Mermaid tenth time. Yeah, yeah but the normally here they always do in the middle. They I mean as much as I can remember they didn't five, even do the fifth, third six, yeah. always five, fifth, sixth place. So let's see uh, how is this year. No, this this would be a, a tough, uh, intensive game, I think, against uh, Langen. So who won last year? The champion Cup? Did they win? The no, that was Wiesburg. No. Last year was Wiesburg. Yeah. Yep. And they lost against no uh, uh, Norway. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes, we do have a, a full team for the Germans and uh, 10 players.